All right, everyone, we are here with a very special guest. We are back with Sam Hewen for the second time on our show, which we are pumped about. Uh, we are unfortunately over over Zoom, but we still love to talk to you. How are you doing, Sam? I'm good. I'm sorry it is over Zoom. Um, yeah, I just literally arrived in, in New York City, and it's good to see you guys. You didn't want to bring your suitcases? Right? Yeah, you could have just came uh, right in. We have a lovely couch. You know what? I, I, I probably should have. I've got a lot of washing to do. And I don't know if you've got any washing facilities there, but it'd be great you to know, like we don't take a but we would have we would have sure we, we would have done it. Get somebody here <laughs> yeah. to hand wash them. There's plenty of people <laughs> here who, you know, would would help us out with that, I'm yeah. sure. Oh yeah? Okay. Well next time I'll, yeah, I'll yeah. do it. But you <laughs> said that you just came from Miami. How was that? It was it was Miami. It was my <laughs> birthday, and uh, I was surprised by my friends who all flew out to Miami. Um, I didn't expect them there, and we we partied. And I now, yeah, as I was saying, I've got the the Miami sunburn. Half of my stomach is red, and half is white. Yeah, and we were saying we're jealous of that. Happy belated birthday! Thank you very much. Thank you. How was how was the the party in Miami? Did it live up to the hype? Were your friends yeah. good? Were they fun? Did they cause trouble? My friends, they were friends. Uh, they embraced it. Um, I need to go back to Miami, obviously, to get the other half of myself uh, <laughs> somewhere. But uh, no, it was super fun. You know, we we went out. We hired a boat. Um, we we thought we were bowlers, um, and we're we're really not. That, that's kind of how you have to act when you're in Miami, though, because yeah. everybody is acting that way. I it's yeah. You you got to go back. I feel like you're you just missed the big weekend. The F one is this weekend. I got in the, the car this morning and the driver had like the F1 uh, advertisement playing. He had like all this paraphernalia. I'm a huge F1 fan. I've been to a number of races. I cannot believe I'm missing <laughs> Miami. Uh, yeah. it, it's a real shame. Yeah. I'm, I'm so glad like America, you guys have embraced yeah. F1. It's, yeah. Uh, it, it's been great. I actually love, I've, I've been watching, I think a lot of the Netflix show has done a lot mm -hmm. of that. Yeah. Of course. But yeah, everyone in New York, I've just been seeing flying to Miami. So you you were coming the opposite way because the, the New yeah. Yorkers are flying to Miami for for the F1, I think. Who's your uh, who's your team? Who's your driver? Uh, you know, I, I love I like Ferrari because I I am I'm, I'm an Italian. Um, yeah. So but I will say Carlos Sainz is, is my guy. Just, I mean, he's exceedingly good looking. Yeah, he's almost not that's, real, is he? Yeah, he's like, that's like, really not why at all. No, it's, no he's yeah, a great driver, yes, of course, yes. But, uh, oh, I gotta I go it. with somebody it. who's on a who I like the car, I like the business, who's not like you know, wins ever. for stopping is just too easy of an answer. You guys lost me with this yeah. with the driving talk. I'm not sorry, yeah, sorry. <laughs> no, I know. I look, Basically, I feel left out. I just feel yeah. like you guys like have this little rapport about the driving, and I'm I'm on the outside looking in. I'm sorry. I like we, the we, sun and I like drinking on a boat. Rhea, all you need yeah. to know is that Red Bull beats everybody. Okay, that's okay. noted. It's not just a drink; it's it's also a. Yeah. Yep, that's really the, yeah. the the big the really the big thing. Now you have your own alcohol, right? Did I see that correctly? Yeah, I think most of it is sweating out of me right now. <laughs> I was gonna say, did you take that to Miami? We did. So we've just we're just about to release a gin, a wild Scottish gin that we've been working on for a long time, and I'm so proud of it. And my my boys, they brought uh, a caseload of it uh, on the boat. Uh, case is gone. Else. Case case is pretty much empty. Yeah, um, that's it what was, we like to hear. Fun. Yeah, but I have a I have a whiskey brand as well, and um, we're working on Scottish uh, Scottish products, Scottish ingredients, and they're all unique to to the part of uh, Scotland that I'm from. Uh, we've created this new gin, which will be out in June. That's Very awesome. Cool. I can yeah. a lot of good gin and tonics. I'm sure on the on the boat. <laughs> there was some gin, and then it just descended into. I wouldn't say drinking from the bottle, but uh, yeah, it yeah, was, something close to that. Yeah, I, yeah, I couldn't possibly. <laughs> right. it. Well, you're back in New York. Uh, you have a new movie coming out this week. It's called I Love do. Again. It, you are starring alongside Priyanka Chopra, Jonas, Romance, mm -hmm. Love, Celine Dion is in this movie. Tell us about uh, the movie or character. What can people expect? Yeah, well, I mean, I think you know. Firstly, those names. I mean, Celine Dion. Come on, she's a she's an icon. It's her acting debut. She's also written, uh, I think, five or five plus songs, original songs for the the movie. Um, it's a beautiful script. It's like a rom com in the sort of vein of Nora Ephron movies, you know, Sleepless in Seattle, or um, and my character Rob. He's a bit of a hopeless romantic and. Um, 
he receives a phone that is actually the same number as uh, Priyanka Chopra's character, Mira. Her um, former partners uh, died. So she's still texting his old phone, telling him how much she misses him. Uh, and I'm receiving those texts and fall for her over text. It's a, I, Sounds complicated, I, it's, but I assure you it's it's pretty straightforward. I like the idea of it. A little creepy, but awesome at the <laughs> yeah. same time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, so he's reading her text. Uh, I mean, it is slightly uh, nefarious. It's slightly his moral code is is slightly a squiff. But I mean, what you know, who's to get in the way of love, right? Right. It's um, love conquers all. Hey, everyone has a unique love story, right? And this this seems like one of them. Yeah, and stalking is a little too much, but um, yeah, he goes he goes to some lengths to to meet her. But um, no, it's it is a beautiful uh, a beautiful script, and um, James Strauss who directed it was was fantastic. He adapted it. And Priyanka, obviously, the heart of the movie. She's just brilliant. She's such an amazing person, a great actress. Uh, and it was so fun to, to work with her. Had you met Priyanka before you guys did this movie together or did you meet for this movie? What was your your first interactions like? Yeah, well, it, so this is a COVID baby. This is a COVID movie. Um, we were in the height of whatever lockdown it was in, in London, and we were able to shoot, which was fantastic. However, they weren't they wouldn't let us be together. We were only allowed to be in the same room for like twenty five minutes at a time, wearing masks with the windows open. Um, so, as you can imagine, pretty hard to create chemistry with someone, especially a romantic chemistry. Um, but we got there and uh, we had a great time together. And honestly, uh, we first met over Zoom and um, she just instantly blew me away. She's got such a big heart. She's super intelligent. Um, she's a great businesswoman, Priyanka. Um, and I just felt part of her family straight away. She is extremely charismatic. And you know what's really strange? The last time that you came on the show, we had Priyanka on the show immediately after you the same day. Like it, like it, I said, I'm stalking. I'm yeah, stalking. <laughs> yeah. You were really channeling that yeah, role before yeah. you even knew she had you just, had it. She had just released her book. Yeah, it was the same yeah. day. Very weird, but that's. And then I released my book. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a theme here, right? Yeah, we're seeing that. <laughs> it's really interesting that this happened during COVID because, um, it, you know, it's some years now. So it it, it took a little yeah. bit for this movie to come out. It did. We were waiting. Um, we were waiting on Celine. Um, we wanted uh, to her be to be part of the movie, and um, obviously she's got a number of scenes there. And also, um, obviously she's been having some health issues, yeah. and I think we were waiting for her to to get better. And um, I mean, this is a real, real celebration of her music. So we're so pleased about that. That it's finally out there, and we can all. I don't know, sing along and uh, and and celebrate Celine. Yeah. I loved the trailer for this movie. I, I mean, we love a rom-com, but this one I was like, I'm definitely going to watch this. It was really exciting. And oh. Nick, I mean, put, Celine, put Celine Dion's music in the background right. of You're any hooked. trailer. You're like, it pulls you right in. And Nick Jonas has a cameo, obviously married to I, Priyanka. And I thought that was hilarious. Were you around for um, any of their scenes and... Did he give you a little talking to because he was on set? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I was actually, uh, I was a little nervous. You know, I'm like, oh, here we go. Uh, I'm meeting the husband. Uh, and he he's such a sweet guy. Really cool. We hung out. Um, he's obviously uh, a big fan of his tequila. So we, we, we bonded over barbells and, and tequila um but no he's super cool and we all we all actually went to priyanka's house for a couple of dinners and meals and, and hung out and he's brilliant nick honestly he's so funny in the movie i won't give it away but uh his character is, is, is hilarious yeah we i know we just see that one blip in the trailer which i think definitely caught fans mm -hmm eyes it, it, as a moment where they're like oh this is this is awesome but yeah you guys definitely have the full bar case covered i <laughs> think between the the tequila the whiskey <laughs> yeah. the gin yeah. everyone's yeah. bringing exactly. their own alcohol everyone's got party. their everyone's got their alcohol um but that's yeah. all, and it's you know that is great but it's also kind of one of the downfalls of, of filming a movie obviously during that heavy of a lockdown you can't fully yeah. enjoy everything is as much as you can, but maybe you can do it now for, for press. I'm sure you have, you know, red carpet events and things like that, that you we could do, celebrate. We do. Yeah. Tomorrow is the, the premiere and we've got a bunch of press and parties that we're uh, organizing. So we're going to make up for it. Um, just, just don't get sunburned like I did in my yeah. house. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, but now you'll have a little tan going onto the red carpet. Yeah. Well, if you can call it a tan, but yes, yes. It I, turns, I, usually I, sunburn turns to tan, you know? 
let's hope so. I'm Scottish though. So <laughs> just you know True. get maybe have a uh someone deliver you some like aloe vera like this you make, make sure you don't start peeling that's the worst that's the worst that, thing that would be a good look for the red carpet yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, in the moments that you have you know celine dion is in this movie were <laughs> did you get to witness live singing of celine dion did i get to witness live singing of celine well um i kind of giving it away a little bit oh but, um, I, I guess uh, if it's a spoiler I, I can't give away spoilers. Yeah. But I, I mean, she may sing in the movie. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Um, I had a number of scenes with her. And um, honestly, that was just the, the best part, really. And, and I was, I mean, I, I knew she would do it. And I knew she'd be brilliant at it. She's absolutely the perfect fit for this movie. but And her music is. But to see her act as well, she's brilliant at it. She's, she's heartwarming and... Um, she's just such an amazing person. And I think, uh, you know, it's, it's, why is this the first movie to have right. her acting? Mm-hmm. I mean, I think it's sort of, it was shocking to me that she hadn't done this before. So, um, I'm really pleased that this is her, her debut. Was she signed on first or were you signed on first? Um, is it competition? I'm not yeah. sure. But, uh, <laughs> A little I, bit. When I was, when I was offered, I knew she was involved, yes, and I knew Priyanka was. And honestly, the moment uh, I heard they were involved, I knew it was, um, you know, going to be an exceptional movie. And then, um, honestly, reading the script, it was so good. Um, I really love those sort of Tom Hanks, Meg Ryan movies. Mm, yeah. And there is an element of it. I, I would never say I'm anywhere uh, on, on an equal or part to them. And actually, it's kind of terrifying because I never thought I was you know uh it would be good in a romantic comedy so um i guess the proof is in the pudding but uh yeah big fan are you wanting to do more rom-coms now that you did this one um sure yeah why not i mean if, if celine's free yeah. we can do another <laughs> oh i mean uh, who, who else could we have uh yeah just get another uh, another great musician but um yeah, no, I, I would love to do, I don't know what's going to be next. You know, obviously we're still working on Outlander. We have our final season, uh, which we're going to start shooting. Um, the season uh, seven is coming out um, this June. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there's a lot going on, but obviously when Outlander is done, it'll have been 10 years of my life. Um, time for something different, I think. Yeah, definitely. I think, um, you know, there's been a lot of talk about the end of Outlander 2 because like you said it's been on for a long time people get very they they, they can't wait they, the fans call it Droughtlander when mm-hmm. they go in between these seasons and the show's not on so everybody's super super excited for the seventh season to come out what uh what can you tease for season seven Oh, geez. There's so much happens. This is, it's a, such a mega bumper season. Um, we shot for a whole year, uh, 16 episodes. Um, I believe, trying to cast my mind back now to where we were started, but um, we kind of pick up where we left off in the last season. Um, Claire has been uh, put in prison for the, uh, for the possibly murdering uh, Malva Christie. Uh, Jamie is alive, thankfully, and he's now going to go rescue her. We've also got the War of Independence. Uh, it's now it's 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 on. It's happening. Yeah. Uh, Amy's you know his um, loyalty is is tested. He obviously knows he's on the wrong side. He's been um, working with the British, but he knows that they're going to lose. Um, so yeah, there's there's so much, and then so many other characters as well. Uh, it's just a mega bumper season, and uh, I'm really excited for people to see it. When you originally signed on to play. Jamie, I know, of course, everybody, you would want to hope that you would get to do all the books and really get to tell the whole story. Did you Mm. know from the beginning that you guys would be able to do this for the full story or has it really been kind of season to season? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, when we signed on, I remember saying to my driver on day one, I was like, this is going to last, yeah, maybe a season or two, maybe two years and we're done. Um, And as we've gone over the years, it's been such a surprise and so rewarding to see that people keep watching and, and want more. And um, I'm just so happy that we've come this far, you know, 10 years. And I mean, what other show really does last that long? And eight seasons, we've, we've when this se- season comes out, I think 91 episodes. So when we finish the last season, there'll be over 100 episodes of Outlander. It's incredible. Um, and it's done so much, not only for Scotland as well, you know, we've... yeah. 
uh, all these locations and, and film crews and it's really I know they do the full like you can go and they do the full mm. Outlander tours you can go to all the places they That's filmed very cool. it is very cool and it's That's also fine. great for the for the fans of the show and the books too because I felt like that the show has done such a great job honoring the books and the book getting to have a show extend the whole amount of time of mm. the books and being able to tell the full story is I think what every fan hopes for when their favorite books mm -hmm. get made into yeah, a, a into movie shows. or a television show that they really get to be able to tell the whole story so that I think has been very cool about uh about Outlander and I'm the bond I'm sure you've created with the cast is great. You've gone into business with some people. How have you kept that relation, those relationships going throughout now almost yeah. 10 years? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is, you know, it is a relationship and it's, um, I mean, I know people say family and it really is family. We're so tight. Um, we've been through so much together and uh, I know uh, we all got on the last day of this last season shooting, there was this, no, we suddenly all started getting quite, quite, upset because we could see you know the end was coming and you know for next season that'll be it and to not see those people every day the crew the the drivers whoever you know the cast it's it, it is your extended family so it's going to be really tough to suddenly have you know no contact but they're great everyone we're we still keep in contact even when we're not shooting we're always texting each other and uh, meet up when we can and yeah it's it's nice to know we have this this family that will always be there even when the show is over yeah what do you uh, have your eyes on now? Is there a dream role out there for you? That's a good question. Yeah, honestly, um, I, I think I'm going to wait and see. You know, I I have been talking and had some uh, some offers of things, but I, I think I'm going to take a break maybe and then, you know, pick and choose. I've been working on pitching a few shows myself, um, producing stuff, and um, yeah, I'm going to take a little time out and and wait for the right thing to come along so god knows what that is when when you're doing that where are you miami <laughs> i'll be on the boat yeah in miami. <laughs> i think also a lot of people have been talking about this rumor and i'm sure you've been asked about this nine million times but the next james bond has been a massive conversation right and there's always vegas has odds and the, the lines are always changing and certain people move up right. and certain people move down and, and i'm just like when are they picking the guy because this conversation <laughs> has been going on for i years. know it has it has felt like it's been going on for a long time but your name has always been in the mix right. um how do you feel about that uh, that rumor yeah, what, what are the odds now? I think they're probably pretty poor. I, <laughs> I don't know. I felt like you were pretty up there the last time I the last time I looked. So, I read. I, I was reading. It was. Oh, I don't know. There's always someone new, isn't there? Like there each is. month, someone. It's and it's only like whatever guy is wearing a, a tuxedo yes. to a premiere. They're like, oh my god, this is the guy. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I feel like this conversation well, I, has been going on for so long. I Just know. tell us who it is. Well, because I one. I think um, it was. Aaron Taylor Johnson, who was in Bullet Train, mm -hmm. and just from like the action scenes he did, and hit that, and he was like in a tux, and the, that people were like, "Oh, maybe it's this guy." Yeah, yeah. But your name yeah, I, has always been in the mix. So, is that something well, you would you would entertain? Um, I I think absolutely. You know, I I I auditioned for it years ago, and um, I I think I'm a very different actor now, a different person, but. Uh, of course. I mean, who wouldn't who wouldn't throw their hat in the ring, right? I mean, it's one of those roles. But then again, I've played someone iconic for the last 10 years and um, uh, it's it's a huge undertaking and I feel very fortunate. I don't know. I don't know. Sure, <laughs> so, bring it on. If I, if I get a boat, uh, a Miami boat, I'll, I'll do it. Are you, Perfect. Are you saying that you would do a better audition now? Is that what you were kind of referencing, saying that you're a different actor now? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I think, um, you know, I think you, I've been 10 years on a show, you, you do learn a right. lot of, uh, you learn your craft, right? And uh, I'm older and more experienced. And um, yeah, it was interesting because at that time they were auditioning, they were going to make uh, James Bond young. Um, uh, it was Bond 21. So I think they were going to, you know, reboot it and have him as a young guy. So um, yeah, I mean, 10 years, 10 years later, I guess, I know I've done, a, I've been around. <laughs> I've, 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 
shot a few things and punched a few bad guys. So, um, yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah, I feel like they they can't really still make up their minds with mm-hmm. where they're with where they're going with it. So you never know what could happen. But um, yeah. those are some it's big an interesting one. Yeah, definitely. You, there's some big things coming for you, like you said. Outlander is in June. Gin mm. release in June. What else mm. do you have coming up? I know I saw a couple other maybe product things in production for We've you. Got yeah, well, Men in Kilts, uh, my travel show with my good friend Graham mm-hmm. uh, McTavish. We went to New Zealand last year, and um, that will I can't tell you when, but it'll be out very soon, um, sometime this year. And uh, that's a lot of fun. And uh, we've got a book coming out with that as well, which is called Clanlands in New Zealand. So, yeah, it's been it's been a busy old year. That is uh, definitely what is what is your relationship like with Graham? Because he cracks me up in anything I see. Obviously, like, you know, it's not exactly a very funny role for the show. Out, you know, Outlander can be quite serious, but watching yeah. him off Outlander he is very funny. I created basically Men in Kilts, yeah. so I could torment Graham McTavish. Yeah. Uh, he's, if people don't know, you know, he plays a lot of like um, very masculine sort of, I don't know, aggressive, angry people. Um, and uh, and actually in real life, he's a complete pussycat uh, <laughs> and has a fear of anything that could cause him injury. So therefore... What I like to do is make sure he does things that scare him. Um, and that's how we created uh, Men in Kills, really. We, you know, the first season we went around Scotland, kind of discovering more about the country and the food and the heritage. And then I made him go off a cliff. And then I realized that New Zealand uh, has a lot more uh, adrenaline activities. And not only that, um, it's obviously the home of where, that's where Graham lives, has a house there. And um, and it has a lot of Scottish ties as well. So uh, it seemed like the, the natural fit. And I'm really happy. It's a really fun uh, season. Um, and we explore yeah, the islands of New Zealand. You need a friendship like that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, just someone you can torment. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. sometimes, our, that's sometimes yeah. the best when you know, or you know people scary easily can have fun with that. But mm-hmm. um, yeah, like you said, you, you're it's winding down for Outlander, but the Outlander fans are some of the most dedicated fans out there and I have to ask because I've always been curious I don't know if you have a specific story for it or not but do you have have a weirdest fan encounter with somebody obsessed with Jamie Frazier who's you <laughs> it was not uh, me yeah you yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, no, I, I, mine I, can't be the weirdest one <laughs> no I mean uh, yeah our fans are uh they've just been incredible you know like supporting us over the years and they are, they are, there are obviously in every fandom, there's always, you know, some, some, uh, someone on the edge, but uh, it's honestly, they've just been so supportive, um, from, from, you know, year one before we even, you know, people knew what the show was, you know, the fans of Diana's books were there and, uh, and what's been brilliant is, you know, people, some people didn't know Diana's books and they've just come to, to discover the show and then started reading her books as well. So, um, there's this great crossover, but, uh, weirdest experience, uh, I mean, no, I mean, I've, yeah, I've had a few. Yeah. <laughs> I, I he doesn't want to give anybody I any ideas. Al- exactly. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Have some repeat offenders. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's, it's generally, honestly, the fans are amazing. And I've been so lucky Even over my birthday, you know, they, they organize themselves, they do fundraisers. They've, um, they've just been so generous. Um, and honestly, yeah, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be, you know, here if it wasn't for them so very, yeah very cool. and it is really cool because i do see on social media um how much people support your other ventures when it's like oh you know the outlander fans are are buying the alcohol or buying the books and watching other stuff so definitely have that that dedication which is really cool too because you know people yeah. are going to watch they're going to be headed to the theaters to watch love again which is out this thursday uh you it can is. go see it in theaters which is great. There's some. There's something that's got to be nice about filming a movie during a peak lockdown, and now everybody actually gets to go watch it in a theater. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And it's been, you know, as I said, like, uh, just it's been. I've been wanting. I'm waiting for this movie to come out, and we had such fun making it. And it's it's a really sweet movie. It's got a real heart to it. And I, I think if you're a fan of uh, of Celine Dion, you're gonna you're gonna really enjoy it. Definitely. Well, Sam, thank you so much, everyone. Like I said, go see. Love again in theaters. Uh, I think it's going to be a sweet one, and you cannot cannot go wrong with Celine Dion. I feel like everybody will just be singing Celine Dion songs yep. 
which nurse, like I said, you can't go wrong with that. So Sam, thank you so much for joining us and hopefully we talk again soon. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks guys. I appreciate it. Hopefully next time in person. Yeah, yeah enjoy, your, enjoy your trip on in the New York. Boat. We'll be on the oh, boat. On the boat. Oh, yeah. Perfect. That would be way ne- more fun. Next year, Miami F1. See you there. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Bye. Bye.